Today I'm talking about practice. Last week, University of Wisconsin women's basketball coach Bobby Kelsey went off on a mini rant uh, about the need for players to get off their cell phones and off their Facebook uh, and onto the court to practice their shooting. Uh, the video went viral and was applauded by coaches everywhere. Uh, and it feeds into the philosophy of many coaches, which is if you just work harder uh, or do more, you're going to improve. Uh, and I think this uh, belief that there's a one-to-one -one ratio between effort or work or repetitions and improvement uh, is a fallacy. And it's one that I think holds back players uh, who do want to work hard and do want to train more and, and do want to put in the effort uh, and then don't see the results. So I watch a lot of players locally and they're in the gym, you know, before practice or after practice, they go in on their off days uh, to get up shots. Uh, kind of the, the same idea as, as what Kelsey was uh, talking about, you know, and, and hoping to inspire, I suppose. Uh, but these shots aren't really going to do anything to improve the player's game shooting. Um, they might improve their practice performance, but uh, the shots in a game are going to present different obstacles than the shots in practice. So when you practice by yourself or maybe just with a friend or a coach who's passing to you, uh, and you're the designated shooter in a drill, uh, there's no decision to be made. You catch the ball, you shoot it. Uh, in a game, you catch the ball on the wing, and you have to decide whether or not you're open. You have to decide whether or not a teammate is more open. Uh, maybe you have a driving lane. Uh, maybe it's a tight game, you know, late in the clock. And, uh, you know, the better move is to hold the ball, uh, you know, and, and take some time off the clock until so the shot becomes a bad shot. So there's decisions to be made. And these decisions typically are absent during practice. Uh, and coaches and, and media and stuff, we want to underestimate uh, the effect of these uh, decisions on a player's shooting because the action of shooting in practice and the action of shooting in a game looks similar uh, or identical. And we underestimate the role that the constraints or the information in the environment has on the shot. And so a player who has to decide to shoot is actually taking a different shot than somebody who knows ahead of time that they're a shooter because it's a drill and they're the specified shooter. So to improve our practice, whether as a player or a coach, uh, we want to try to incorporate the information that's available in the environment during games as much as possible into our practice drills. And so we need to give more thought to the way that we design practice and the way that we design drills so that our drills can be more closely related to what happens in a game. And ultimately, when, when we have the same type of information in the environment and we can couple that information with the movement uh, in our practice, that's going to lead to better transfer of training uh, into game situations and ultimately better game performance.